hi and welcome to my channel so it's now official and the uk government has officially increased the salary threshold that overseas workers need to earn in order to get visa sponsorship to move to the uk or indeed to switch your visa if you're already in this amazing country this is something that is a massive massive change and it has huge implications because it makes Applying for visa sponsorship jobs in the UK really complex. You need to know which job is eligible for what pathway, which job can you apply and all of that. So that's what we're going to talk about, obviously, in today's video. So if you're currently applying for visa sponsorship jobs in the UK, what has your experience been? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Which jobs are you applying for at the moment? Have you found any challenges? If so, what are these challenges? If there was one thing you needed to be able to kind of catapult you to the next stage of this journey, what would that be so leave that in the comment section below also you know this is something that i've been talking about for the last few months saying to yourselves if you are wanting to move to the uk you need to make hay while the sun shines you need to be really vigilant you need to make sure that you're understanding the best visa pathways and the easiest ones that are going to cost the least amount of money that's what i'm here to bring to you so if you need to contact me directly, by the way, check the comment section below. You're going to see my contact details with my WhatsApp number as well as my email address so they can get in contact with me directly because I'm all about free visa sponsorship opportunities, jobs, you know, to move to the UK without spending thousands of pounds, without getting in debt such that you're not even sure about the job that you're going to get in the UK. I'm also very passionate about career progression here in this amazing country because I started my own journey as well as a carer in a nursing home to now progressing to the most senior clinical nursing job where I work as an advanced nurse practitioner. It's like being there, done that and ticked all of those boxes. So that's why I'm passionate about these career progression opportunities so that you're aware, look, it's not only to move to the UK, but what next, what else is there once you get to this amazing country? So that's what this channel is about. I have my free newsletter. I've dropped the link in the comment section below. Do join. Once you join that newsletter, I send information such as this directly to your amazing inbox. You're not reliant on the YouTube algorithm for such vital information that is crucial for your personal and professional development because I can send that directly to your inbox. So like I've said, if you need to contact me, check the comment section below. You see my contact details. You're also see, going to see my free newsletter to join you drop your name and email it won't take 20 seconds and you're part of it so what is really going on in the uk at the moment look there is a wind of change that is blowing over this country when it comes to immigration and all of these things are making it i don't want to say it's impossible to move to the uk i'm somebody that i like to be solution oriented Yes, the government has its own agenda, its own rules, its own duty to pay, you know, to the British people. But you and I have the duty to make sure that if you're wanting to move to the UK or you're in this country looking for visa sponsorship, you know the best pathway. So that is what this channel really is about. So if you haven't joined this family, take this opportunity now and hit the subscribe button below. So that you're the first person that is notified every single day when I drop a new video on here at 10 a.m. prompt UK time. I drop a video on YouTube every day. It's a dedication, a commitment that I made a long time ago. To ensure that you're the first person that is informed about the top opportunities that this country has to offer. So what is this change? So if you're applying for a skilled worker visa, you know, to work in the UK, you need to be earning at least £38,700, you know, per year for you to be eligible. Which means that if you earn less than that amount, you will not qualify for visa sponsorship. The objective for this is that, you know, the net migration has been at an all-time high and the government is obviously very concerned about this and they have said we need to make sure that we are only getting in the right people into this country that have the best skills but most importantly people that we need which means the jobs that are needed and look this is where you need to be very very smart because when it comes to healthcare jobs let me tell you something all the jobs that are currently eligible to offer visa sponsorship and that qualify for the salary exemption for what we're talking about are only healthcare related jobs. All the other sectors are either no longer offering visa sponsorship at all or there are very few jobs, which means the competition is going to be massive. So again, you need to be very, very aware of this. 
Also, do me a favor and share this video by the way with your friends, loved ones, colleagues, so that they're aware of these changes and updates and they're not wasting time applying for jobs that don't offer visa sponsorship and then they're like, hey, why am I not getting this? And by the way, if you're not aware, I do have a private career coaching program where I offer one-to-one -one tailored, individualized and personalized guidance with getting visa sponsorship opportunities in the UK, you know, jobs as well as career progression, which really is something that I'm very passionate about. You're looking to get into nursing, you're looking for apprenticeships, you're looking for opportunities where they'll pay you to work and study at the same time to become a nurse. As you know, nursing is a top opportunity in the UK, as well as carer jobs, as well as clinical jobs, non-clinical healthcare jobs, and the NHS is the organization that recruits for all of this. So I offer one-to-one -one guidance to get these jobs. If you're keen and you're part of the top 1% of people that are eligible to join my coaching program, then check the description box below or the about section of this channel. I like to make this known. I like to be very clear about this. I don't like to waste my time just like I don't like to waste your time. My coaching program is for less than 1% of people here. It takes work. It takes energy. It takes effort. It takes time for you to successfully go through those processes. Career progression is not something that comes in a day. It's something that takes time. I know that many people are on here just to watch video after video after video after video on YouTube. These are not the people for this program. If you're ready to implement, you're ready to put in the work, you're ready to change your situation, you're ready to progress you're ready to get those apprenticeships so you're sponsored paid to work and study at the same time then my coaching program is perfect for you then you are the perfect person so like i've said check it out but if you're listening to this and you're thinking melvis i know you're going on about this it's also good to be true how are you going to support me personally how what have i got to benefit from all of this then please check the comment section below you'll see my contact details my whatsapp number as well as my email address Feel free to contact me if you want to talk to me about how this is going to be relevant for your specific circumstances. I'm more than happy to have that conversation with yourself because if you're investing in anything, you better know what it's going to be about. But like I said, there is work involved. If you don't want to do any work, this program is not right for you. I don't want those um, layabouts. I mean, I hate to use that name, but it's really the right thing. I don't know how to mix my words. I like to be open with you, to be clear, to say these people are not suitable for this program. But if you're success driven, you're ambitious, you want a community of other people that are going to motivate you, people that are going to encourage you, then this is perfect. So yes, like we're saying, most of the jobs that are exempted from this are healthcare jobs. I've also abolished the so-called shortage occupation list and they have introduced what is called the immigration salary list. This is something that we go through during our weekly live session. So our session this Thursday, we're going to go through this list thoroughly to make sure that not only do you understand the jobs that are on the list and that are eligible for visa sponsorship, but that you also know the organizations that are recruiting for these opportunities and most importantly, how to apply. Like I say, when you join the program, obviously, we'll go through all of this one-to-one -one with you to ensure that you know where to get started. Because there's a lot of information out there on social media, lots of YouTube videos. But guess what? Knowing where to get started. Yes, you're where you are now. What do you need to move to the next step? What do you need to move to stage two? That is really what is missing. That is what you need. And that is what one-to-one -one guidance is going to give you. So if you're not earning at least £38,700, you will not be eligible for visa sponsorship. The, the government is hoping that this is going to get rid of about 300,000 overseas workers in the UK. If you're watching my videos, you don't want to be amongst these people. You want to be amongst those people that are going to be successful, no matter the rules, no matter the T's and C's, because there's always going to be a way out. Again, check this out here.